Hi, I'm Sophia Boris, and welcome to Shoes in the Oven. Hi, and welcome to Shoes in the Oven. I'm Sophia Boris, and I'm a gal that doesn't cook, but certainly likes to eat and experience and explore fashion and fun. And I'm here in Philadelphia today, and we're going to talk a little bit right now before we head outside, we're going to talk a little bit about style. So we're going to talk about Sophia's style. Today we're going to concentrate on shorts. So really with shorts, you really only need one or two pairs. You need that pair for hiking. You can have a fashionable pair that works during the day and can work during the evening with some hose and high heels. Today I have on my leather-like shorts with the little, I guess you call those grommets. And uh, just my favorite equipment blouse. It's silky and flowy and I just roll up the sleeves and it's a go with everything tucked it in a little bit in the front, and left it out hanging a little bit in the back. As far as shoes, today I'm going with the two-tone Oxford shoes. They're everywhere, there's patent leather ones. I'm just going with a very boyish look uh, to offset the shorts. When you're picking a pair of shorts, think of picking something that's solid with design in it. Then you can change up the top all you want. So you can have color in the top, it doesn't conflict. You can have uh, solid on the top, it's not gonna conflict, it's gonna enhance. So that's, uh, that's the part you need to think of. And along with shorts today, we're gonna talk a little bit about hats and we're gonna try to scooch to a hat store. So I'm gonna talk about the few hats I have. So I only have four hats. One, I have to tell you, this hat actually was my dad's. So it's a traditional fedora. The only problem is it doesn't fit much on my head because I think it's all this hair. My dad was bald, so his hat fit very well. But for me, it's a little snug. So I just keep it for kind of sentimental reasons. The other hat I have, this is my winter hat. And we're going to head to this store today. And this I use with my felt coat. It's wintry, it's warm, it's practical. It's got a little bit of an edge. I really like it. But people are using even the felt hats during the summer. So there's no reason you can't do that. So just think multi-purpose. You don't need a lot of hats. You just need a few and it'll complete outfits. So I'm going to show you another pair of shorts and hat, so I'll be right back. So the next pair of shorts, this is basic color, nice and neutral, it's got a lot going on. You see the little fringe and it has a lot of detail. So you can marry it up with something colorful or plain or even something with a print. Today, I decided to pick up something that has a little bit of the same cream color in the shorts that's in the top. Okay, so this is my look, and we're gonna go out and see what's cooking in the city. So it's really warm already, and it's early. I have my little Audrey Hepburn purse that doesn't fit much of anything. But most of the cute purses don't fit much of anything, as you know. But it's a great basic color and it goes with everything. Again, a neutral color with some texture. So we're just gonna head towards Rittenhouse Square and we're gonna turn on to Walnut Street. Hi, Ollie. Hello, Hi, good to see you. I'm Sophia Boris and I'm with Shoes in the Oven. Okay. And I have some Gorin hats. I bought my first Gorin hat in the Gaslamp District of San Francisco. I know you're here. 
And then I, and I loved my hat, and I wanted to tell some of my viewers, some of my fashion viewers, where a good little hat place was. Because I'm like, Gorin is in Philadelphia, my hometown. And you have I just the I coolest can. hat. We'll be really quick. Something. We'll be really quick. Okay, let me tell this my boss. Hang on, hang okay, on. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, so we're here in the land of hats. And I have, I'll tell you which one I have. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> What's this one called? That one is the Beverly Corleo. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Which is really cool because it's it's not symmetrical. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you can see it, but the so the rim is down here and then it just swoops up. Okay, so you model it. It's, it's I have this giantest head, but maybe the I giantest head. It is our only asymmetrical fedora. It's very dramatic. Yeah. It's a cool look. So. And and that's what I love about the hats in here. They're not your predictable hat. Right. Uh, you can get a predictable hat, you can get something classic fedora, mm -hmm. but you can get something with a little edge or a lot of edge. This is true. Mm -hmm. Wait so, until Thirsty Thursday when we have hat happy hour. <gasps> hat happy the hour! The champagne and the bourbon Shoot. and the... Every Thursday? Every Thursday. What time? Seven Do I think seven. We start at seven. <gasps> we are definitely coming back here. We should. We're going to have... Uh, and we're having our Shoot. opening party on the 23rd. We're going to have live music and... Celebrity <gasps> chef. I'll be here the 23rd. Okay. David, are we, we going to be here the 23rd? Yeah, probably. Okay, put that on your calendar. Okay, so no, look, the feather bar, no kidding, seriously. But you don't, you can't drink the stuff. But they're little <laughs> accessories. And you have hat pins. Oh, yeah, for the for our little clothes. All the, the pearl hat pins and gorgeous. I wonder if this can double as on my shoe. <laughs> it's shoe. funny, one of the guys I work with, he has all of his grandmother's old shoe clips. Shoe clips? And he puts them on the hats, and they always look gorgeous. Okay. Can that actually that. works. I know. I wonder if it'll work on the side. See that, girls? That's what I say. Repurpose. Repurpose. Think out of the box. Get, get, reach to your creative side. Reach to your creative side. Gorgeous. Yeah, and then, or you can put it on your hat. Oh no, we're coming to have happy hour. I think that's a great idea. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, you even have like a really, really big one. Yes. Check that out. I'm enjoying that one. Whoops. In this one. <laughs> oh my god. Wait a minute. Where's the label? There's the label. There you go. That's an extra large. You might swim in it, but. <laughs> I'm swimming in it. Well, here's what they, I'm telling you, here's what they told me in San Francisco. They said, put it on straight, and then just give it a little tilt. But we're coming here Thursday for sure. What are you calling it? Thursday hat. Happy Thirsty hour. Thursday. Hat happy hour. Thirsty Thursday. Hat happy hour. Don't miss it. <laughs> oh my god, here it is. It's a haunted house. It's a haunted house. It's a giant haunted house. I'm 
She's one of the haunters. Not like this. This is less scary. So we're going to head to the bar. Okay, here's the singer. Here's the star of the show. Oh, this is lovely, lovely. Check this out. Okay, okay, do the twirl, man. Do the twirl. Okay, slow, slow. Woo! Look at that. Look at that. He's got the suit and the little, what is that, a pocket watch? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Somehow. Okay, he's got the pocket watch. Okay. Wind it on, the key to wind it. And the cigarette in his ear? Oh, yeah. She okay, I'm smoke. loving that. She's okay. 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 No, but it's part of the look. It's part of the look. Yeah, okay. What's your name? What's your I'm name? Drew. Drew Newton. I'm Sophia. Sophia. Sophia Boris, and I'm with Shoes in the Oven.